New at 11, lots of ruffled feathers, so to speak, in Foster City over the exploding goose population there. So now city leaders are finally doing something about it, but not everyone may agree. KPIX5's Maria Sid Medina with the new battle in this bird war. In the evening, you would never guess that here in Foster City, there are hundreds of geese. They're sleeping right now, but come sunrise, they come out in full force. We are nature lovers. We love trees. We love wildlife. Shomik Saha loves the outdoors, but even to him. There are hundreds of them. Foster City's goose population is out of control. As of today, it's the largest it's ever been. 323 to be exact as of June 2021, double last June's population and with geese come their droppings a lot of it oh my god the the, the grounds over there are infested with geese poop goose droppings um, in their lawns in their backyards um, public parks, uh, play fields. The goose poop is so bad it's caused unsafe levels of bacteria in the water and forced the closure of some beaches. And there's concern people could get sick with the bird flu. It's extremely dangerous and it definitely poses health hazard. That's why city leaders voted five to zero last week to allow the mitigation of the geese. First, with non-lethal options like fogging to make areas uninviting and keeping their eggs from hatching. But now the city will be applying for a federal permit to allow them to trap and kill the birds and destroy their nests. So it's about controlling the population, mitigating the population, not eliminating or eradicating the population. You no, know, the lethal does not sound good to me. Um, I'm glad that they are trying the non-lethal option. Shomik says he feels bad for the birds who've decided to make their home in a city. The balance would be to take the geese away and put them somewhere where they belong. Getting approval for the federal permit could take at least six months. The city has to prove they've done everything they can to control the goose population. In the meantime, they'll be using non-lethal options. In Foster City, Maria said Medina, KPIX 5.